All right. Thanks everybody for coming. Um, this is the meeting of the Capital Improvement Planning Committee, uh, March 1st, 2023 at 5 p.m. Um, the first item is approval of meeting minutes, February 1st. Move to approve. Second. Any discussion? Um, everybody's here, so we're going to do roll call votes. Nice. Um, approved. Everybody approved? Aye. 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 Um, not approved. All right. Those. And this is not the same as voting for the prioritization. Mm -hmm. Right. All right, next item, we have two remaining, um, well, two or three, depending on how we want to categorize them, whether phase one or phase two, the air conditioning or the flooring at the elementary school. Um, so let's talk about those. How do we want to prioritize those or discuss them? Why don't we start with flooring? Flooring seems flooring kind of easy. <laughs> um, what I recall of that was that there were this was a, a situation in which if work was not done sooner rather than later, that could have other deleterious impacts on the infrastructure. Uh, and so I kind of took away that that made it more urgent and more like a priority A. It's really my piece. I was a little concerned when they knocked out that tile. <laughs> it was like void behind it yeah. and underneath the toilet. They showed us the bathroom. Yeah, I think there's a question of what they might find. I, mean, well, that's they, what I, thought. I mean, it feels like it's not just a floor problem, maybe a rain problem. Um, it seemed like, but didn't we ask him that question? And he claimed that he had other funds outside of this capital request to deal with any incidentals like that that would come up. So, assuming, yeah, I don't remember. You know, I asked him about the Jimmy Hoffa scenario, and was like, well, that would be a different thing. Yeah, was, they have some discretionary funding in their budget that they could put on you. Yeah, you know, like then that becomes a big expense. <laughs> I mean, what can be on the ground and you're here to look at a hall all and I assume that was supposed to be a concrete or cement underneath it, right? Now we've we've done work on the other floors in the past. It's been an ongoing so I think it's just another situation of floor has got to be done. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So uh, floor and replacement Last year, we made that an A priority. Yeah. Uh, replace carpets with tiles. This is 2021. We said B. Uh, carpets with tiles in 2020, we said B also. Just. What did we say last year? Last year, we said A. Yes, because that was the second phase of when we already yeah. committed to the year. Mm -hmm. That include the nurses on. I think the all the carpeting has been replaced now. Yeah. And now it's the floor, the bathroom floors. Yeah, yeah and this, this seems a more structural issue than the replacing carpeting. I would say uh, yes and no. I mean, it's on, I think it's all on concrete. So it's on slabs so that it's not like there's going to be like deep damage to the building if it was to leak. Uh, you did have one section of the, the, the bathroom floor, as I recall, and they, it, it sounded like there was space cavity on I thought that was because the tiles were loose. That's your okay. tiles. I thought that's what I interpreted that okay. as. Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. I think they'll finally pull that up. They'll probably have to do some work on the uh, replacing the toilets, too. Not replacing toilets, but the seals. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm torn between a B and an A. Uh, I'm sort of inclined to B. And you're thinking about what drops it from an urgent to the merely uh, high priority project. Would be well, let's one. put it this way. If, if 
one of those pops up completely, then you've got a safety concern. One of those tiles. Why is it a safety concern? What? You one of the tiles? Yeah. One of the four tiles. It's true, although one of them could you could just you yeah. use construction adhesive and put it back down. Temporary fix. Well, that's safety issue. <laughs> <clears throat> Can't have young kids walking around and there duct tape on the floor. Any other thoughts? I can live with either one. So straw poll on A. I would say an A. I mean, be, they should be done. It'd be nice to see them done. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think given it's not a high cost item, it probably will be done. So what's, what's your reasoning for thinking high priority? Well, I mean, I tend to feel that repairs that are delayed. So when I think about it around my own house, I think about things that I am comfortable putting off a year, like if something breaks, I can, it won't be worse waiting a year. And I, and my intuition here was that there were greater risks of waiting, that it could be more expensive later. Then, so that was the kind of reasoning about urgency that it would be needed to be done, and there were it, it would cost more, or there would be or something that went bad during the upcoming year would lead to a worse situation. Like I'd rather prevent that earlier than, yeah. But you don't think it's going to be any worse in a year. I'm going, I don't know about it, but what's in the wall. Uh, the floor itself seems like it'll be a little, a little bit worse, but not causing damage right. to the infrastructure. Right. Yeah. What about the whole issue with the drain, with one of the drains having been filled? Well, that's just a mess. And that may be or be able to be correct. What we're, I'm trying to remember whether by taking up the floor, certainly by leaving the flooring in place, they wouldn't really be able to access or evaluate how much of that pipe he was going to be. He said he was going to evaluate that when they pulled the floor. Yeah, but he wouldn't be able to do that until the floor were pulled up. Yeah. yeah. And while the drain is plugged, that creates other risks of flooding in that bathroom where if there is a flood in that bathroom, it won't drain properly. No, won't rain at all. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's an extreme case, not proper. That could add to the additional expenses. That could add to additional expenses down the road. I would say. I didn't get the feeling that if they took up the floor and then they assessed the nature of that plug, they would be able to determine like, oh, the remediation repairing the pipe that was plugged was entirely contained within the footprint of the bathroom. Because if it was indeed filled with enough material that extended into the pipe beyond the range of the bathroom, you would not be able to simply replace, you know, I kind of envisioned what I heard was some amount of concrete was it was poured down the drain. And assuming it wasn't it was several custodians ago. So several custodians ago. Right. I'm not, I'm not sure what's up. We yeah, don't, don't know. Right. right. So it's got to come up. We looked at it. So right. when, when the floor comes up, it would certainly be easier to look at, at and get into the pipe and know the extent of it. Right. How many, how many A's do we have? A. A's on A. I'm on the fence. <laughs> I'm on the fence. Somebody push. I, 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 I'm not. I, I know our job is to set priorities. I think this is going to get done either. Whether we call it an A or a B. Yeah. 
So, uh, okay, I'll move to an A. Yeah, I'll move to an A. On peer pressure? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Or hunger, and just keep going for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. air conditioning, phase one, phase two. What I what I did here, though, is that these prices, if we're going to connect everything together mm -hmm. with the energy management system, these are these are too low. Um, uh, but we're talking, I guess, about the project itself. Mm -hmm. I'll say. I don't know how much this bears on the actual prioritization, but I had some misgivings about the way the superintendent understood the heat pump system and how it would be used, and, and just sort of the idea that it was just going to be used for air conditioning when a heat pump is for heating and some of the units are. So that whole, like, I kind of had this concern that we'd be spending this money and wouldn't be getting the full value out of it because of a misunderstanding of what's being purchased. But it it feels to me like this kind of system for heating and cooling is the future and is going to be the right model for the school going forward. So they should do it. And, but then I end up feeling that it's a B because I'm still not super persuaded that like I see it as a comfort issue since they're focusing on just the cooling aspect of it. So this is why I'm really kind of muddled about this whole thing. If it were presented as we have a problem with both heating and cooling and we rather than fixing or extending a boiler system, we're going to be we're continuing this process of installing heat pumps and mini splits and using them for heating in the winter and cooling in the summer. You know, I'd be all I'd be all in. So I just I just find myself a little mixed. You know? I'd like to hear other people's thoughts about B versus A. It doesn't seem like it's a C. But I'm somewhere like now I'm on the opposite place as where I was with the bathroom force. <laughs> Right. But I like people, I like students, and I like staff to be able to you know, learn and work in a comfortable environment. But then I seem to hear that the needs of air conditioning were much more limited in the pool compared to heating. I had, at one point that I heard that they had programs going on in the school during the summertime then which would have made me feel like, oh, they should then have cooling available more or less throughout the summer. And then I got mixed messages like, well, they don't necessarily have staff working in the buildings. They do the have office staff and custodial staff in the summer. They do. And they sometimes have summer camps there, but it's only for- Like a limited period, like I heard. That's the only reason. The office, the, the office yeah. that already has yeah, mini split. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's right. So I, the office staff are accounted for. Right. I think I walked away not understanding why a few window units didn't suit what they were looking for in terms of just cooling the rooms. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, and in, in the bigger picture of the heat part of it, I feel like the long range plan isn't clear. So are the heat pumps going to be functional later when we actually need to address the boiler? Because that's coming up. Right. And have they looked at the whole picture when, with that coming up and these heat pumps being a part of that? At, at least for now, heat pumps are not an alternative to a boiler. They don't work well enough in very low temperatures. I, I to, kind of agree that to heat the I, I think it's too soon to commit to all many split. Right. Yeah, I tend to disagree, and I'm happy to be the lone dissenter. Again, living in a house that's all mini splits, and I'm not that's saying a house. Well, that's, yeah, that's a house. You know I, and I, I guess I'm not advocating, or or I don't think I'm disagreeing with Dan's assertion that it's too soon to convert entirely. These hybrid approaches, where you have heat pumps, mm -hmm. and then you have a backup heating system 
for very full days. Right. But that's not all sorted out. I guess that's right. my concern is that they haven't really thought the whole picture yeah, out. Yeah, I did. I, I, I agree. Clear picture of how they're, you know, so that's an overall plan for heating the building. Going that way for two years now. Yeah. Glad you said it. <laughs> yeah, it just, I feel like they need to look at the whole plan and then see if any splits fits that or works with whatever the right. bigger picture the is. The only question would be did they have any uh, Eversource? Contribute anything? It will. <laughs> he, didn't, he, didn't, he didn't give us a number as to what it would be, but he mentioned he was working with somebody from that advanced energy group. Yeah, but I saw that some of her bill built to say at one point, it may not have been there, maybe in another meeting, that for a bill for that particular building, the subsidy wouldn't be particularly great to the savings. Mm -hmm. you know, That's right. kind of not a big right. enough project to not save. <laughs> I also thought there was an expiration date on when those incentives would be available. They so, say that every year. Yeah, they're always been, yeah. <laughs> yeah. another one. Just a come on. Yeah, but I don't think we should think that the subsidies are going to be particularly extensive. No. I kind of think it's a C. I'm on the same boat until they've sorted it all out. Yeah. I, don't, I don't I don't know enough about like window units like you were saying window units but can they be pushed in because that would be a security issue if they could yeah, yeah. i don't know i uh, i my partner works at jackson street school and they have window units here and there well, Nine, they can't window. do it in the gym because they nobody going to climb up and right, that's yeah. true turn yeah. them yeah. off turn them off they, we had to get a contractor to go and close it wouldn't Nicholas to volunteer, <laughs> contractor who volunteered to go yeah. close the window. Yeah. I mean, can they get like, I don't know, can they get like mobile units? Yeah, that, I mean, there are standing yeah, units. I have like, in my you studio. Just, like, to rent it outside. Or, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how that works, but they have their. Does that like vent anything? Yeah, so it's just a little rolling, just on wheels, and it's you like just stick a little thing in right. your window to vent it out. And then you can pull that in at night. They could just make a couple of classrooms tolerable. Yeah. Yeah, I was going to say, did we, why do we need these units in all the classrooms when most of them are not be, would not be used? Certainly not all of them can be used in the summer. Right? There's Much. plenty of hot months during the yeah. summer. Yeah, yeah I mean, we all have to think about right. that, that it's getting hotter in the classrooms, you know, September and late June. But, like, it just, it seems like it's cheaper to get a few units now until we're clear about this whole system and whether that really fits with what's going to change a few years from now. Uh, so how do how does somebody like Bill get feedback along the lines of we'd really like to have a, a bigger picture plan, a longer term plan. Because I think, and I, I know Dan corroborated this, the boiler in the in the elementary school is original to the building, yeah. which is old. Yep. So that's going to... And oversized. And oversized. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah and whatever does it see, I think. Yeah, they're going to be researching that, I think, in the next few years, replacing that. The next few years. Well, I don't know how many. Okay. But it should all be it, done together. It, it should be done as part of a comprehensive yeah. HVAC. HVAC plan for the yeah. building, not the it's not, my not piece of unofficial list of things to pursue grants for is, the, is to replace that boiler because it's pretty something years old. So can we say it's a C for now? Until we We've gotten some other answers. I am certainly that's where yeah. I'm kind of sitting, though I'm still processing that. I would say it's the same. As far as working through it. So we're saying it's worthwhile. Priority. So we don't really have a priority D. <laughs> <laughs> right? We don't. No, we don't. Well, that's an interesting point. Like, we don't it's ever priority. reject. <laughs> A proposal outright. We just kind of damn it with faint praise. We could not. I, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what a C is, right? That's right. Yeah. I assume we could not recommend a contract. I didn't think so. Yeah, no reason 
We can just yeah, say no. I would not recommend this project until it's fully called out because it is currently just being looked at as we need to air condition some rooms for a few weeks every year. Yeah. And not the entire heat and air conditioning system that it is. And that's a message I would like to see get back that this would have been a much more credible proposal if we saw it in the context of a long range plan for the whole system. Yeah, moving that school. So let's make it a seat with that note. And uh, I, I wouldn't even make this sure. happen. I would make it a not recommended. Ah, yeah. uh, so you're, you're going the full yeah. D route. Well, that would send a strong message indeed. Mm -hmm. Right. A C could still pass. <laughs> yeah. Right. So what you're basically saying is you're saying table it. Yeah. 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 Until they table it um, and until we get them do the research of the whole system. The whole system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because we know that regardless of whether the heat pumps can't and whether they can or cannot heat those rooms completely, they can do a lot of the heating. Yes, for those rooms. Yeah, and well, that it, be, especially that in non, non extreme work. weather. Yes, yeah, they can. Yeah. Non extreme but, weather. Yeah. That's what when, when you get down when you get down to fifteen below, heat pumps don't are yeah either don't, don't work that well or incredibly expensive to run. Yeah, cost of course you run that or both. <laughs> But I, I was at this point, given the technology of heat pumps, that we want to trust keeping the school to the entire world. Let's return that request to them for that and request that they give us more evaluation on the whole system. All right, so the consensus then is around not recommend the table. Right. Yeah. Uh, table it. Yeah. That's what you do. Yeah. Until further, so it's still there if they come up with the right information and the right qualifications. At which point, the finance committee and select board, the rest of it, don't see these at all as proposals. Okay. I mean, if they came back to us at some point, and then it's we can, yeah, this could be made and we could have a special town meeting if it was really urgent. So, the one thing it doesn't seem to be is urgent. No. Seems desirable, but yeah, I mean, yeah. the whole but version didn't come into it anymore. No, the whole thing was sold to us as some rooms are uncomfortable in the air condition. That doesn't warrant to me an entire e pump system. Don't forget, they have had half the days because of it. They've had, but I gone totally, home. yes, I totally understand that it is getting hot in classrooms, yeah. Yeah. but you know, until they fully understand how they. Yeah, that makes an expensive sense. system yeah. to put in for when you could get. All right, it's going to be over. I think it's in the day, it'll be over 100,000. Everything connected in. A couple hundred bucks is going to solve the problem. For the, I, I can only imagine it's only. I mean, it's going to vary year by year, but. Hmm. I can't imagine it's going to be that many days. But I don't know. So that there's a consensus. On yeah, that. I'm comfortable yes. with that. Yeah, that's true. Sure. Taper. Sure. Table. Table. Until further information. Yeah, further information and a long, like a long range. Long range plan. Like, like, like what is, how's it all going to fit together? How is the heat part of the heat pump fitting into this right. picture instead of? Yeah. Yeah. What else will be needed? In what years and yeah, to yeah. fulfill this plan? What the expenses will be? Right. We put all these things on because I mean the experience with the town hall is that those things are always on. Yeah. And even on the shoulder seasons when it's probably 65 degrees out. I mean, they're still running. And whether it's the fan or something, they're still running. And if it's 60 degrees out, they're running and they're trying to keep it at whatever that range is. So it's like I don't go and plug them. Yeah. Hmm. Like, and I can just see that with any building that is. Yeah. Even, but even this building, like that, too, the site. Yeah, they, they cycle for fresh air once in a while. They are. I, I still think they're too expensive to run. Maybe. So, the other expenses you're talking about, Brian, is like the electricity. 
that's been used that those sort of things. Our experience with the electricity town hall has not been good. No, when Scott and I, I, I think on this, I would also like to see some sort of uh, study or this report on how many days, you know, are we losing half days? You know, what is the, how bad is the problem? I mean, it's only the worst. We know that. Right. Yeah. But, yeah. but, you know, are we losing school days? What? Yeah. Not just it gets hot in the summer, we need air conditioning. Thanks. So, just a naive question. So, this is the responsibility of the superintendent, is that correct? To uh, gather whatever resources are necessary to get a consultant or, or do a study or whatever to come up with a a plan, or is that some other, is, is that responsibility lie elsewhere in the town? No, I would say it's with the, uh, I would say it's with the Super school administration. Okay. And so Bill, Bill will be the facilities manager. And you believe they would have the resources needed to do what we're asking them to do and provide? Mm -hmm. I think a heating, if not the air conditioning contractor, could you know, yeah, could do and, a and, bunch and of this. Right. Bill certainly got long experience, recent experience, right. with putting in many steps at I the think, frontier. Right, they've been and doing, they've doing is, a lot of work on that there. Which is why it just seemed to me that this was a not a fully baked for somebody who's got that amount of yeah. prior experience. This seemed to, to me to be less than fully baked when it came to us. It, it I've become jaded, well, become jaded ever since I've been working here, but <laughs> I mean, in, in public, really? in public work, yeah, but really. it's all I mean, it, it's like there's incentives for these things, and then this little industry pops up around it, and that's what they pick. It's like, is it right for this building, or is this what the rebates get? And I'm very, very skeptical when people come in and in say, so, with this rebate, you know, you're going to get X amount of dollars. You know, you're going to get nine thousand dollars back off this eleven thousand dollar unit. But it's like that doesn't answer the question that I want to know: is is that the right system for this building, mm -hmm. yeah. or is it that you know you get work, the guy pushing it is going to the guy's going to install it, and he's going to get work, and I'm going to get nine thousand dollars. Like it's an incentive, right? I mean. They're incentivizing people to do it, so I get it, but it doesn't make it right for us. It doesn't make it right for the building. Right? So these right. people who are trying to sell us something are telling us it's right for the building. That's where I, that's where I, that's where I, where I they agree. They're always pushing the product. Right. They're pushing some product. Like the guy who comes into school and says, you need more insulation up here. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, uh, well oh, the energy studies you had said, we did it. I think that's a standard answer for all of them. Right. And right now it's insulation and mini splits. Mm -hmm. It's just what it is. Yeah. I mean, the, the flip side is you like a contractor who's been in trade for 35 years and is doing it the way they learned how to do it 30 years ago, and they're not bringing innovative new ideas. So, like, I mean, I think it's hard to know right. which whether the new thing is the right thing or whether the experience. It's hard to find the sweet spot. Is anybody studying like, yeah. these systems in municipal buildings at the moment? Like, is there the town hall could be a case study? Right? Like, it is a case study, actually. Yeah. Right. The fancy natural resource laboratory in like Berkeley, California, they have different consultants and they're they're monitoring the town hall, so the results aren't going to be good for them. But. <laughs> But it's like the real life on the health system. Right. Of the system. Well, there's always the question of who's now analyzing it as well, but yeah. what's their slant? But like if there are other buildings that have gone all in the splits that are other schools, like how has it worked out for the different here? I think I think I think he told us that they did. Well, they did well, some of the elementary schools, I think. So it'll be interesting to see what the electric costs were. Yeah. And Conway has a lot done as if I remember correctly. They might not have everything, but they have a lot of them. And maybe Jericho, their elementary as well. I guess that is, yeah, they're super interested. Like, what are they? What are they doing with their old heating systems in that context? 
That's they, what I want to see is a is a comparison number. When they put these mini splits in, what does their fuel cost go down and how much does their electricity go up? Yep. Because right now it's just electricity is going up. And uh, it's, they live with it this many years. I wouldn't jump into it now until we get it stabilized. So, Brian, could you draw this, send them a text back and saying what we did? Yeah. Text if we need more info. Uh, Better understanding of the whole system. Tell them, we'll tell them in half an hour. <laughs> tell them in half an hour? We have a finance committee meeting after this yeah. uh, with the elementary schools. Oh, I guess actually that's one of the issues in the elementary school where the proposal is to add this mini square, but they're not, it, it's not impacting the use of the boiler system. So, because they're not really using it for heating, they're still running the boiler as they normally do. So they're not getting any benefits of reduced fuel costs in the elementary school. That's what I'm driving. Yeah. Yeah. They just want to answer. Right. Yeah. So we all vote on that. Yeah. Okay. Good. To make a motion, we adjourn. Well, we have to. So we, we should approve oh, the uh, yeah. priorities as. Oh, all of them. Yeah. yeah. I will read them. Okay. Install. I'll, I'll just read through them. And then we can say if we disagree or not. Just say we can vote. Um, install double link batting cages, priority C. Install air conditioning, phase one and phase two. Table until further information. Long range plan. Idea of the costs and cost savings related to fuel. What are other schools doing? Um, those things. Um, form replacement A. Window and chimney repair restoration. A. Wait, wait, what was the, oh flooring replacement? Yep. Said, yeah. Electrical system safety and plumbing upgrades. Library A. Transfer station security camera C. Uh, fire department pagers B. Uh, new dump truck and plow replace F five fifty A. New pickup truck replace uh, twenty thirteen F one fifty A. Phaser body camera software A. Um, Crystal and Colbert final design A, cataloging town maps and plans B. Correct. Yes, that's a well, I can't make a motion. Yes. I make a motion. We accept that as read. Second. Any discussion? No. All right. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Was that everybody? Yes. yes. <laughs> Anybody, any nays? No. Any abstentions? <laughs> Okay. All right. So when we hear back from the school, um, if I hear back, I don't want to hear back. Um, if we hear back in time for the for the, the finance process, do we want to meet again, or how do we want to do that? Or we just want to leave I, I, think, I think that what we want from the school is going to be a longer term yeah, project. Than longer it, it, it's not going to be a month or so. Okay. That's what I think. I think it'll be next year. Yeah. All right. Come back to us next year with a longer plan. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Any unanticipated items? No. So thorough. And we want a next meeting. Another meeting? Not hearing any? <laughs> Don't need one. So. Uh, motion to adjourn then. So moved. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Thank you.